I am here today to talk about television. Yes, TV! I am going to help you navigate your way through the top 10 best things to watch this September. This is one of the most intense shows on Netflix. It's the true story of Pablo Escobar, the Colombian drug lord. Series 2 sees him go on the run from Colombian authorities. The hunt is on. Coming back, eh? It's been too long. Hand up who remembers Cold Feet. Back in 1997, Cold Feet was almost, almost our version of Friends and finished 13 years ago and now the group of, well, they're five because, spoiler alert, one of them's dead, are back. Hopefully it's going to be very, very funny and zeitgeisty. <laughs> end of series two of The Fall, Spectre and Gibson finally met. Who can forget as the serial killer lay dying in the policewoman's arm? We didn't lose him. I think we can all assume that Jamie Dornan is alive and well. I fought for our liberty. Poldark is what Sunday nights were made for. Aidan Turner, of course, will be back as Ross Poldark the troubled returning soldier who is trying to escape from the hangman's noose. From now on, I wish to be called Victoria. Coleman is thrust into the spotlight in ITV's huge new adaptation, Victoria, which tells the story of an 18-year-old who basically becomes queen overnight. She's brilliant in the role with an absolutely amazing set of plaits. The world thinks Paris is finished. This is a high budget Amazon series about a Paris fashion house tasked with basically making France the capital of fashion again. So that obviously worked. Obviously the costumes are incredible, but it's also quite dark. There's loads of suspense in it as well. Yes, we're here for a word with your husband. What about what? There's been an allegation of rape made against you. Starring Robbie Coltrane, Julie Walters and Joe Riseborough, this is real high quality stuff. It's about a comedian charged with um, historic sex abuses. It's all about how it plays out and how it affects his, his wife and his daughter. It's absolutely incredible. One of us did this. One of us, right here. One of us is a brilliant uh, BBC whodunit. Two families are brought together in sort of the weirdest way, but things get really, really dark when the murderer then turns up. I am ob obsessed with The Night Of. It's one of the best dramas I've seen in a long it's time. Nothing simple, is Written it? by Richard Price, who wrote The Wire. You know you're in good hands. It's brilliant, it's bleak. You'll just want to know who did it and spend your life obsessing over who did it. The show I am most excited about, The Bake Off. I just feel happy thinking about it. It's because for that one hour every Wednesday, the perfect panna cotta is all that matters in the world. And of course, there is the journey. It's just brilliant. Well, I hope that has helped. If you think there's anything that I've missed out, please do let us know in the comments below.